For those of you looking to carry a pistol in your pocket, then check out this video right now. Brian Kerber here with Take Aim TV. In this episode, we're reviewing the Alien Gear Holster's Shape Shift Pocket Holster. Now, we would all love to carry a full-size pistol on our waist at all times with spare mags and any other kind of accessories we would need in a self-defense situation. But you know what? The dress code and the weather doesn't always allow for that. And sometimes we need to think of other ways to conceal a pistol. More and more people are turning to pocket carry as a pistol carrying option. When I think of pocket carry holsters, there's one thing I care about most and that is that the trigger is protected and is covered. I hear a lot of guys say that they just throw these pistols in their pockets and they think they're good to go, but that is very dangerous. It is not safe to just have one of these in your pocket free floating around. That puts yourself at risk and the people around you at risk of a negligent discharge. So having a holster that covers the trigger guard is extremely important. As I said in my recent review video of the Ruger LCP2, that there's a lot of variables when it comes to drawing a pistol from your pocket. So also keep in mind that training is paramount. There's two ways you could buy this holster. If you already have the Shapeshift holster system, like the inside the waistband, for example, you would only need to buy the expansion pack for your pistol. But if you do not have either, you could just buy it as one solid unit and you're good to go. The model I'm testing is for my 380 Ruger LCP2. This is a modular polymer holster with adjustable retention. On the body side of the holster, it is slightly curved to match your leg. There is also a thumb press, so what you would do is you press your thumb against that piece of polymer during the release to help release the pistol from the holster. The pocket adapter also helps keep the pistol in place during the draw cycle. As I said, the retention is adjustable. When I received this holster, I actually cranked the retention down to its lowest setting. And that was enough to hold the pistol in place, but also keep the holster in my pocket during the draw cycle. The retention is strong enough to hold the pistol in place even when you shake it upside down, even at its lowest setting. But I did notice there's a slight rattle going on when you shake the pistol in the holster. I think that's due to the fact that the only thing holding the pistol in place is the trigger guard, and the rest is just kind of a protective cover to the pistol. It's not a deal breaker for me, but it is something to consider. A feature I liked about this is that the trigger guard is completely covered on both sides, so you don't have to worry about something happening to the trigger while it's in the holster. So a big question with this is how does it compare to a traditional style cloth pocket holster? To me, one of the big things I liked about it was the hard polymer trigger guard. This keeps the trigger from having a negligent discharge, and I like the fact that it's covered on both sides and you know for a fact you're going to be safe while it's in the holster. Cloth style holsters, some are really good and sturdy, but some could, you know, over time wear down and I don't like the fact that there could be something that could press and maybe pull the trigger. Maybe extremely rare and could never happen, but it's just something that I think about. But this is slightly thicker than the cloth Ruger holster, for example, that came with my pistol. It, it's a little thicker, which means it printed a little more, especially when I was wearing like tighter jeans. So that's a factor to keep in mind. Another thing I may would like to see them do is come out with a cloak series version of this. Uh, the cloak series is more of a smooth polymer shell. I think some of the rougher edges on this may give away the fact that maybe a pistol in your pocket versus just something that's a smooth round edge that would look more like a cell phone or something in your pocket. Not a big deal breaker. I don't think anyone's really staring that closely at your pants. It's more of a mental game, but it is something to keep in mind. Another thing I liked about the Alien Gear pocket holster was that the draw cycle was really smooth. I do a lot of dry fire practice of getting the pistol out of my pocket. And that brings me to my next point. Please train. If this is new to you, if this is your first pocket holster, make sure you practice with it with an unloaded weapon and try the draw cycle with different pants. Every pants is different. It's not always easy to get your hand in the pocket smoothly, get a firm and secure grip, and draw while keeping your finger away from the trigger. You want to make sure you're really good at this and you're confident because if you accidentally pull the trigger while that gun is in your pocket, odds are it's going to hit you or someone around you, and that is not a good thing. 
So please practice no matter what, as always. Please comment below and tell me if you pocket carry. When it comes to pocket carrying in general, please make sure you're being realistic about what you expect to pocket carry. This gun right here is a great example of a gun that's good for pocket carrying. It's small, compact, easy to shoot, and reliable. Don't try to get pocket carry a full-size pistol or something that is large. It's going to print. You may think it's not. Maybe if you wear loose pants or something like that, but... Odds are you're going to have something printing, and it's also not going to be as easy to get out of your pocket fast. I'm not going to be the judge of that. Who knows? You may wear gigantic pants with gigantic pockets. Good for you. I don't know. But make sure you're being realistic. You know, stick with a gun that's designed for pocket carrying if you're going to try to do this style of carry. This holster, along with all the other Alien Gear holsters, is made in the United States. Just quick disclaimer, they did send me this holster for the review video. This isn't a bribe, and they did not pay me to say positive things. They're not going to like everything I have to say, and that's just a traditional review video. I don't do paid-for reviews, and we never will on this channel. For more information, go to AlienGearHolsters.com. As always, special thanks to the Firing Pin in Burgeon, New York. They're a great public range that we go to a lot, and they're always accommodating. They have great deals on guns, ammo, firearm accessories. you got to check them out. They've been a huge supporter of the community during this COVID-19 crisis, making sure that our local area stays armed and ready to go. Thank you so much to them, and check them out, The Firing Pin in Virgin, New York. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow us on Carbon TV and Instagram. We're going to have tons of new content coming your way soon, and we appreciate you all who are watching right now. Stay aware, carry often, and I'll see you next time.